So a couple of you were actually pretty close. It's an E10. It's not technically a 2002. It's a 1967 BMW 1600-2. Um, I picked this thing up. I've been looking for an E10 for a long time. Most of them are really, really getting expensive for a rust-free round tail car. Um, this one isn't technically rust-free. It's got a spot right here on each side from like a prior roof rack or something, but not too bad. And then the bumper has also got a little rust on it, but the floor pan is completely spotless. Um, these cars are kind of known for uh, strut towers being rusty. This thing is completely spotless. Um, and it's it's all original. I mean, from the 50-year-old wood shift knob to the blow punked radio, dial, steering wheel, everything. So I'm going to end up replacing quite a bit of it because a lot of it's just not replaceable, or sorry, not fixable uh, in its current state. But the actual metal is in fabulous condition. The car has a uh, 1.6 liter single overhead cam M10 engine. Uh, as far as I know, it's numbers matching and original. The MW 1600-2. It did come with both bumpers. It's missing little stuff like the turn signal indicator. Um, but I mean, this thing is really a survivor. It's a fabulous car. It's in pretty good shape. Um, and I have some plans for it. I'm just going to freshen up the engine. I'm going to throw um, fuel injection on it. Not the TII Kugel Fisher. I'm actually going to use, uh, I think it's 85 318i E30 intake manifold uh, with an adapted 2.5 liter throttle body on it. Uh, with Mega Squirt, and that should work pretty well. Got a new old stock radiator, so that'll look a little bit better. <laughs> um, Going to ditch the mechanical fuel pump in favor of an electronic one. The E30 318 lay model pump works perfect for that EFI. Um, what else? I don't know. There's really not much to say about it. Um, all the rubber on it needs replacing, basically. The paint is okay at best. It's an old respray. Still trying to figure out if it was originally black. I think it was. And uh, we'll go from there. Got to change out the wheels, too. But it should be a fun project. I'll try to keep it as documented as I can as it goes along. But I figured I'd give you a sneak preview since I literally just canniballed 2,000 miles with Mr. Wags and the trailer and a friend to get this. So... I got myself a roundy. <laughs> Super excited for this one.